This might look like a simple 10-inch home lab rack, but inside them, it's running a full Proxmox cluster across three HP mini PCs, mounted using custom 3D printed brackets I found online and improved with a switch mount I designed myself. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of the finished setup, show you how I created the custom switch mount and walk through how you can start building and printing your own custom parts. I've been slowly upgrading my home lab over the past few months and it was finally time to tackle the rack layout. The goal? A clean compact setup for my cluster. If you haven't seen the previous video where I unbox and assemble the DeskPy Rackmate, definitely check that out first, because that build kickstarted this whole project. And now we're taking it even further, using the power of 3D printing. Compared to the original assembly, I've rearranged the power to the back of the rack. This gives a cleaner look and feel, and thanks to the blank panel, we're still hiding all the power bricks. To properly mount the minis, I found a set of 3D printable brackets online and printed three of them in black. While fitting everything, I looked up and noticed something interesting. There's extra room above the rack, just enough to fit a 2.5 gigabit ethernet switch. So maybe this isn't a 4U rack after all, Maybe it's secretly 5U. Once the prints were done, I installed all three HP minis into their brackets. They slid in perfectly, locked in tight, and instantly made the setup feel more polished. Then I jumped into Tinkercad and designed a small custom mount to hold the switch in place at the top of the rack. It fits flush, holds steady, and keeps everything tidy. I opted to create a replacement piece to keep the original rigidity of the rack. I chose Tinkercad, but there might be better and more advanced options out there. For a beginner, this was perfect for me to get started. Just a heads up, the bracket is designed for my specific switch with these exact dimensions. Height 30.70 mm, width 156.20 0 mm. I'll drop a link in the description to the exact switch I used in this build. In the end, I've now got a clean, wisp acquired 10 inch rack that's fully customized the way I want it to be, at least for now, because why have a home lab if you can't change things down the road, right? I'm offering the STL file for free if you want to print your own. I'm considering offering a pre printed version for those who don't have access to a 3D printer. Let me know in the comments if that would be useful. If you enjoyed this or learned something new, hit the like button and subscribe for future builds and printable parts. Or consider joining as a member to get access to behind the scenes footage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.